Okay, so I am back with a new video and uh, you know 2017 is coming to an end here soon. We only got a few days left until 2018 So I figured Why not break out my whole entire? WWE Blu-ray collection and show you guys everything that I got so let's get into it You know first we got DDP's positively living which is um, pretty good. I enjoyed this doc. Next up, we got False Count Anywhere. This one's hosted by Mick Foley. Next, we got CM Punk Best in the World. the attitude error we got uh, straight to the top money in the bank letter match anthology next we got Shawn Michaels mr. Wrestlemania Blu-ray exclusives. That's what's nice about the Blu-rays, man. You get better quality and you get exclusives. Next up is It's Good to Be King. The Jerry Lara story. This is a really good doc and if you guys don't have this, if you're into wrestling, I highly recommend this. It's really good. Next we got The Monday Night War, Shots Fired, Volume 1. This is a 3-disc Blu-ray set. I don't have Volume 2 yet, but I definitely want it. Paul Heyman, or ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. This is a pretty good doc, I enjoyed this. Next we got The Rock. The Epic Journey of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Next we got True Giants. With Andre the Giant there. And one of my favorites right there is Vader. Next we got Triple H. That Kingdom Come. This is a pretty good doc. I enjoyed this. Next we got the Ultimate Collection Goldberg. I only paid 10 bucks for most of these uh, at Best Buy. Once in a while Best Buy will have a deal. And uh, they marked a lot of them down to 10 bucks. And when they do, I'd jump on it. Next we got the uh, Best of Monday Nitro WCW Volume 2. We got, uh, For All Mankind, The Life and Career of Mick Foley. I really like this doc. This one's really good. Mick Foley's badass, man. Met him once at the uh, Motor City Comic Con years ago, back in 2008. Next up, we got Living on the Razor's Edge, the Scott Hall story. I like this doc. It's good. Next, we got Greatest Pay-Per-View Matches, WCW Volume 1. Next, I got NWO The Revolution. And what I like about this is the, you know, the Blu-ray exclusive, a 90-minute roundtable discussion. That's cool. We got uh, WrestleMania. 25. We got the history of WWE, 50 years of sports entertainment. Next we got Owen, Heart of Gold. Now this is a great 
great documentary on this. I love this Blu-ray, man. For anybody that does not have this, I highly, like I do the It's Good to Be King, I definitely highly recommend this. This has to be in your collection. Set these up here. So I have more room. Next we got the best of WCW Clash of the Champions. Staying on the cover there, Ric Flair. Next is the click rules. Two discs set. Next I got Macho Man, the Randy Savage story. This is a great doc. I love this one, man. A must own. Next we got uh, OMG, the top 50 incidents of WWE history. Next we got Sting, Into the Light. I enjoyed this pretty good. Next is uh, WCW War Games, Most Notorious Matches. Next we got the movie No Holes Barred, Hulk Hogan. What I like about this is you have a SummerSlam match here in Blu-ray, which is cool. Next we got Greatest Wrestling Factions. Triple H there on the cover. Next we got WrestleMania 29. We got uh, the 50 greatest finishing moves in WWE history. I picked this up at FYE for like $3 brand new. I think they were just trying to get rid of it. Next, I got the collector's edition of Brock Lesnar. Here comes the pain. I don't care for Brock Lesnar, but I do love Doc, so it doesn't matter who it is. Um, if it's a Doc, WWE Doc, I'll get it. Next, we got Undertaker, The Street. Just a three disc Blu-ray. It's really kick ass. Next, we got Stone Cold Steve Austin, the bottom line of the most popular superstar of all time. Next, You Think You Know Me, the story of Edge to this set. And we got uh, Eric Bischoff, Sports Entertainment's most controversial figure. I enjoyed this, it's pretty good. There we got the Giants. There we got the uh, the top twenty-five rivalries. To this, uh... next we got the true story of WrestleMania. Next, Ultimate Warrior Always Believe. I enjoyed this stock, it's pretty good. Okay. And here we go, we got uh, Greatest Rivalries. Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart. This was pretty good, I enjoyed watching this. Pretty good. And my last Blu ray is SummerSlam 2010 so let's take a look at everything here I got over 40 a uh, little over 40 blu-rays all together 
and like I was saying most I got pretty cheap you know most of these I paid 10 bucks or less some I got at this replay for like five bucks I know I got the I believe yeah this one I got for like five bucks at this replay this one I got for five bucks this one I paid like five or six same with that um, so that is it for my blu-ray collection and uh, yeah 2017 is coming to an end can you guys believe it that's crazy so comment make some comments below let me know if you guys have uh, any of these on blu-ray I'm curious and um, so that's it for this video you guys have a uh, awesome weekend and I will see you all on the next video alright people Peace.